Hello friends, Osiris here and the 7 star terror raid event for Charizard is now live in Scarlet and Violet. In today's video, I'm going to go over all of the details as well as the best solo build for you to beat this with in your game. So on the back of the Blastoise 7 star terror raid event ending, we now have the 7 star Charizard in Scarlet and Violet. It will be returning. This has been an event in the past, but is coming back. So those of you that missed it that first time around, are going to have the chance to get this event in your game for the next few days. The event itself is running from March the 13th as of recording this video until March the 17th. The Charizard is going to be level 100. It will have its hidden ability solar power and moves. It will have a Dragon Pulse, a Fire Blast, Hurricane, Focus Blast with additional moves of Overheat, Terra Blast, Sunny Day and Inferno. It will have the mightiest mark. It will be a Dragon Terra type. It can never be shiny. And it will have a modest nature and it can only be caught once per save file. So like I've mentioned, if you caught this in previous events where this has been live, you're not going to be able to catch it again. Now, the notable turns that you're going to keep an eye out for during this raid are going to be 98% of the time remaining. So very shortly after the raid begins, it's going to fire off an overheat. And then immediately after that, it's going to reset its stat drops on its side of the field. That's the only time it does it throughout the raid. The next turn to keep an eye out for is when the Charizard's HP hits that 70% mark. That's when it will nullify the stats and abilities on your side of the field. And that's the only time that's going to happen throughout the raid. And then at 65% of its health remaining, it will set up its shield. And that will be the three notable turns that I would say you're going to keep an eye out for in this raid. When you've beat the Charizard, of course, you have the chance to catch it if you haven't before. But alongside that, you're going to get a lot of good item drops, level up candies, calciums. You're going to get dragon terror shards as well as ability patches. But alongside this, unlike previous raids, you're going to get the chance to have Herba Mystica dropping with this raid. So even if you have caught it in the past, it's worth going in and farming this raid just for the chance of getting those Herba Mysticas every time you beat it. So like I say, the Charizard will be running not as long as the previous Venusaur and Blastoise raids, but running from today as of recording this video on the 13th until Sunday, March the 17th. Now to access this event in your game, you're going to need to make sure you are connected to the internet, then come down to your Poker Portal. Once you're in this screen, come down to your Mystery Gifts and then come to check Poker Portal News. This will just update all of your dens in the area. You'll get the 7 star terror raid event for Charizard appearing on your map. Then you just need to locate it and head over to it. Now the builds that we're going to feature in today's video are going to be the most consistent ones to beat the Charizard with. These are tried and tested from previous events and also tested by myself again tonight with the other ones that we may have suggested in our preview article. They're going to be the best ones to go in and farm for Herba Mystica over this weekend. The first one I'm going to feature is the Sylveon. It has got the Fairy Terra typing. It has got the held item of the Covert Clock. That just avoids any burns as well as those confusion chances that the hurricane carries with it will be level 100 make sure that your ivs are all hyper trained and then a move set of hyper beam foul mind fake tears and draining kiss with the hidden ability pixelate then an ev spread of 252 evs in special attack 252 evs in special defense and a modest nature of course all of the builds that we feature in today's video will be down in the description below so you can take a look at those after the video and then we've got the Fluttermane it is going to have that fairy terror typing as well obviously it is a Scarlet exclusive so that's why we're going over two builds today just in case you are playing on Violet and you don't have access to a Fluttermane the Sylveon is going to be just as good an option but the Fluttermane very solid if you do have one in your games again going with that cover clock item for the same reasons that we've got it on the Sylveon Level 100, Hyper Trained, and the moveset is going to be Moonblast, Fake Tears, Calm Mind, and Draining Kiss. Product Synthesis is the ability, and the EV spread is going to be 252 EVs in Special Attack, 252 EVs in Special Defense, and a Modest Nature. So that is the Fluttermain, and we'll jump into the raid now, and I'll show you how easy this can be with that Sylveon. When you first come into the raid against the Charizard, the first turn it is going to launch off in Overheat. That's going to go into any random target on the field. If it does go into you, don't worry about it, because it can happen sometimes, especially if you are farming for the Herba Mystica raids. The one thing I would say about this raid in general is it's pretty easy, but it's very RNG heavy, so it can really go... A lot of different ways every time you come into it as you can see it's going into the hacks rest here then it nullifies the stat drops on its side of the field resetting those but we're in a nice position here turn one always go for that combine that's just going to give you that special defense boost to get those fake tears off as you see it does 
go for a hurricane and hit and like i say very rng heavy this raid because it's got very low accuracy moves and most of the time they do hit but sometimes you get away with it and they do miss next turn we're going to go for a fake tears the idea here is to get the charizard special defense down to minus six before the shield goes up because as soon as the shield goes up fake tears isn't going to be used but we know the charizard only nullifies its stats on its side of the field once in this raid and it's already done that so we're going to be safe if we get it down to minus six to be able to kind of just maximize our damage output for the rest of the raid do get pretty fortunate here with a hurricane and a fire blast abyss there but i mean you take it because it is going to happen where you go into a raid and it's going to hit everything but there's the third big tiers and the charizard special defense will be down to minus six if there's any point in the raid where you have taken a lot of damage and you feel you're not in the best of positions just go for a draining kiss in between getting those three big tears off and just recover the health because any draining kiss that you're going to get off at any stage here is going to get you back to full health so you're going to be in a really good position to kind of set up for the rest of the raid so i'm going to activate the shield as we see here and it will nullify the stat boosts on our side of the field so we're going to have to set up that calm mind straight after this and then chase down our terrestrialization that's pretty much what we want to do but the first thing after the shield goes up and our stats are nullified is go for that calm mind straight away just to get that special defense boost because we don't really want to have to be contending with these big powerful attacks coming out from the charizard so there's the plus one in our special attack plus one in special defense and now like i say we're just going to concentrate on getting to the point where we can terrestrialize so we'll take another hurricane go for another draining kiss that's going to be our second draining kiss we'll get some health back while we do this and chip down the charizard as we go and take another fire blast for our troubles here so you can see we're still in a pretty healthy position as we go for that third draining kiss after this we're going to be able to terrestrialize but rather than go for another attack and just terrestrialize what we're going to do is set up another two calm mines because we're going to be able to end this raid pretty quickly with that hyper beam once we do terrestrialize and get that terrestrialization boost here so terror blast coming out from the charizard dragon type not going to affect us because of our fairy typing which is really nice as we take another hurricane but that cover claw coming in super handy here because it is preventing us from getting confused and that is one of the real drawbacks if you don't have that item going into this raid one of the reasons why azumarill is not as reliable as some of the other options that we've got they can rely on the draining kiss for recovery and then obviously uh, avoid any of those confusion uh, turns that you can be subjected to so we'll go for that third combine here we're still in a pretty healthy position as we sit here as we might take another fire blast or hurricane from the charizard which we do but we're in such a healthy position with our special events here you can see uh, we are plus three across the board on our special attack and special defense. Charizard minus six and we are at the point where we can terrestrialize. Raid timer in a good position. We'll just terrestrialize and click in with uh, that hyper beam and that will be more than enough. Even if the Charizard's got more health at this stage, you're going to be able to knock it out with those plus three boosts and the minus six on the Charizard. Once you have terrestrialized, you're going to be in this position to just close it up. The raid timer is pretty good here. You're going to be able to run through these raids really quickly to farm for those Herba Mysticas over this weekend, which is really nice. And probably one of the big, biggest reasons for doing this raid over the weekend, if you are taking part in it, of course, and you have caught the Charizard in previous events in the past. So there is the Charizard done with the Sylveon. And it is as easy as that. It will disappear and see if we get any Herba Mystica drops. And we get three this time. So that's really good. So we've had good drops so far. But like I said, the Sylveon's super easy to use and accessible to everyone in the game because it is available as an Eevee in the base games. And if you're coming into the raid with the Fluttermane, we first turn with the Fluttermane a lot like the Sylveon. We're going to go for that Calm Mind. The advantage that the Fluttermane has over the Sylveon, of course, is that it is faster. So you're going to get that Calm Mind up before the Charizard goes for an attack, taking less damage, meaning that your setup is a little bit more seamless going forward. Of course, you can take critical hits throughout the raid, so you need to be a little bit careful with those. Turn two, we go for that fake tears. And again, I'm going to try and get that Charizard's special defense down to minus six before the shield goes up. Like I said, any point that you are using these fake tears over the next three turns, if you are pretty low health at any point, just go for a draining kiss at any stage and just recover the health that you've lost to put yourself in a better position going forward in the raid because you don't want to get knocked out. It does slow you down. And especially if you are farming for those Herba Mysticas throughout the weekend, you want to be doing it as fast as possible so here's that third fake tears as we go through it and the charizard's taking pretty decent damage so far from our partnering pokemon just with the support from that fake tears we do take end of the hurricane 
our health isn't in the best of positions here so we'll go for a draining kiss and like the sylveon we're just chasing that terrestrialization here where we can terrestrialize and then close this charizard raid out it probably will nullify our stat boost on our side of the field after this turn because it is at that kind of hp number and then set the shield up as well like we're seeing here so we're going to be able to have to get our terrestrialization up before we're able to do any big damage but the first thing after our stats are nullified on this side of the field is going to be go for another calm mind like i say we've got the speed advantage against the charizard so we're always going to be able to get that up to get that special attack boost and more importantly against the charizard the special defense boost as well but we can go for a couple of these yeah or even three of these if you want but you probably only need two to really have a big impact going through on the raid because like i say at this stage we are just kind of concentrating on getting a couple of these up and then chasing that terrestrialization where then we can close the raid out very quickly after that stage but like before if you're getting into a, a, a really dangerous position with your hp just use a draining kiss heal it all back up and then kind of carry on the raid from there so like i say we've got a couple more of these draining kisses to use before we can terrestrialize but you can see the raid timer in a really good position here probably going to run through this very quickly and one draining kiss even with the shield up is healing us back to complete normal and you can see we get a bit lucky with our raid partners because we've got something the belly bolt that's paralyzing the charizard so we do dodge a turn there but like i say so rng heavy this raid it really is different every time you come into it and sometimes the rng is going to go your way sometimes it's not but the cover clock item that we've got on here definitely helps out once you get to the position where you can terrestrialize and your health is in a good position you're not in a good position health wise use a draining kiss but if you're in a good position health wise just lock in with that terrestrialization and then the moon blast and that's going to be the more powerful attack and move that you've got access to and it might be pretty close to us taking this charizard down we've only got two combine boosts so we're plus two at the minute but more importantly the charizard is down to minus six special defense that we set up at the start of the raid and it's so important to get that up like i said the raid time is in a very good place at the moment so yeah there we go nice and easy and it is that easy with the flutter main and of course as always if you want to respawn your dens you're going to need to come in to your home menu and then down into system settings and down into system down into date and time make sure you synchronize clock where the internet is off click in your date and time options and then just toggle through don't change anything hit that okay and then come back into your home menu back into your game and you should see all the dens respawn and you can find that seven star terror raid event for charizard and then head over to it and then farm away for those herba mysticas over the weekend so friends that is everything for today's video i hope you find the two builds that we feature in today's video very helpful especially for farming those herba mysticas over the weekend if you have caught the charizard for the first time because you missed the previous events that's great let me know down in the comment section below what pokeball you got your charizard in but good luck with the herba farming over the weekend if you have found it useful do drop a like on the video do subscribe to the channel as well to stay up to date with all of our pokemon content and i'll see you all in another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye